Hi guys, this is Noel with creationeffects.com and in this After Effects tutorial I'm going to quickly show you how to give your footage this retro 8-bit animation look. So we'll make it look like an old video game basically and this is really easy and uh, it'll work on any type of footage. Uh, there's an improved version of this effect in the Creation Artifacts template and I'll leave a link to that in the description. Um, that template turns your footage into animated artwork in just about every medium that you can think of. So you can check that out if it interests you, uh, but let's get on with the tutorial. So I've got this uh, bizarre clip of these girls dancing and uh, it's animated. And uh, let's change this to 8-bit. So first thing we're going to do is add a cartoon effect to this layer. So I'll just go into my effects and presets and type in cartoon. Here it is. I'll add that. You can see right away that it, it kind of adds this comic book look. But let's tweak the settings a little bit. Uh, in render, we have fill in edges. That's what we want. Um, detail radius, we can increase that to 20. And uh, the detail threshold, increasing this will actually decrease the amount of detail. Uh, let's set that to 40. And now in the fill section, which refers to all the colored in areas, as opposed to the black lines, uh, which is called the edge, uh, we can leave shading steps at 8, that's fine, and shading smoothness. This one is going to decrease the amount of colors, basically. So it's going to let us get rid of these smooth gradients and just simplify the whole image. So let's uh, just turn that down to about 40. And next in the edge section, um, the edge effect is looking for areas of contrast in your footage, and then it applies a black line over those areas. So we can adjust the sensitivity of that uh, using this threshold slider. Let's change that to 3. And uh, you can see that affected the thickness of the lines. Um, we can also do that with the width. I'm going to increase that to 2.5. We actually want this to be pretty thick because we're going to be pixelating the footage and we'll need to be able to see those black lines. Softness, uh, turn that down to 0. We don't want to see any blurriness. And opacity, um, we can turn that down to 50. Um, advanced, you don't have to mess with that. Um, so uh, we're almost there. Let's just add a mosaic effect. And this is how we're going to pixelate our footage. You can see as I increase the amount of horizontal blocks, it increases the resolution. So you can experiment with these values. Your footage might require more resolution than mine. One thing to remember, um, if you're working in HD like I am, uh, the ratio is 16 by 9. So that's uh, 16 width and height 9. So if you want to preserve that ratio with the, uh, the number of pixels that you create with this effect, um, these values just have to be divisible by 16 and by 9. So I've already experimented and I've discovered I like to multiply it by a, about 14. So for the horizontal, I'm just going to do 16 times 14. That gives us 224 pixels across and do the same thing down here, only it'll be 9 times 14. And then we're going to turn on sharp colors and that increases the contrast. Uh, one more thing to add here, I'm going to add a color balance effect. And I'll increase the saturation to about 35. Now it plays really smooth and um, I think I would prefer it if it played more choppy. So we can do that with the frame rate in the Composition Settings panel. So just go to Composition, Composition Settings, and you can see I've got a frame rate of 30 per second, and let's change that to about 8 frames per second. And that's it. Uh, if you wanted to take it a step further, I've got this example here. You can add some old analog TV effects. And all of that is included in the 8-bit effect in the Artifacts template. Um, you can see that this has, if I zoom in here, you can see it has this TV screen texture. So you can see the individual pixels. And uh, you can also see some scan lines and you've got some wavy TV static. Just a little bit extra to add that old retro TV look. If you like the idea of turning your footage into animated artwork, this Creation Artifacts template has everything. So you can make your footage look like a pencil drawing, or a Van Gogh painting, or claymation, or a watercolor painting, or a halftone print. Um, and like I said, pretty much every other artistic medium you can think of. So 
Check out the demo video for that by clicking the link in the description. Um, that's it. I hope you liked the tutorial and thanks for watching. Thank you.